Hey all, it's Matt Walsh from Style Factory, the go-to site for digital marketing advice and SEO tool reviews. In this Moz versus SE ranking comparison, I'm going to walk you through two leading SEO platforms and help you work out which one is the best fit for your project. I'll start with the reasons to choose Moz and then follow this up with a look at the reasons you might want to use SE ranking instead. 1. Moz gives you access to a much larger link database than SE ranking. When it comes to getting good search rankings, links from other sites to yours are really important. Google effectively treats them as votes for your site. So, when you enter a domain or URL into Moz or SE Ranking, both platforms show you a list of all the backlinks that they can find pointing to it. This data lets you see which domains are linking to your competitors. You can then reach out to the owners of those sites, asking them to link to you too. By doing this, you can build up a wider range of links to your own website. Now, Moz's backlink database is way bigger than SE Rankings, containing 45.5 trillion links to SE Rankings 2.9 trillion. And based on our tests, this resulted in Moz surfacing more referring domains than SE Ranking 70% of the time, giving it a clear edge when it comes to letting you spot good backlink building opportunities. 2. Moz is easier to use. Of the two products, we found Moz the more straightforward to use. It gives you access to a really simple navigation system on the left that lets you access key data and features easily on the right. SE Ranking employs a more complicated navigation system. Using it involves a lot of hovering over icons, expanding menus, and reviewing dropdowns. When testing the platform, we found it all too easy to click on features that we weren't trying to access. 3. Moz provides brand authority metrics. For over two decades, Google ranked content primarily on its quality and the number of high-quality links pointing to it. But with the rollout of its controversial, helpful content updates, it now seems to be placing a much higher emphasis on how well-known a site's brand is. To reflect this shift in approach, Moz has introduced a new metric, its Brand Authority Score, that lets you monitor the strength of a website's brand. When you enter a domain into Moz's Domain Overview tool, Moz assigns it a Brand Authority Score of between 1 and 100. The higher the score, the more general awareness of the brand there is amongst Google users, and, according to Moz, the more chance of its website ranking highly in search results. There isn't a similar metric currently available from SE Ranking. 4. Moz gives you cheaper API access. An application programming interface, or API, lets you pass data between different apps and systems, and typically, SEO tools charge a lot of money to let you use them. Moz offers a much more affordable API than SE Ranking. Its API plans start at just $5 per month for 750 rows of data, but SE Ranking only permits API access on its business plan, resulting in a minimum financial commitment of $259 per month. So if you need to bring SEO data into a third-party app or system via an API, Moz is the much more affordable option. 5. Moz gives you more generous page crawl limits. Moz and SE Ranking both let you perform regular audits on the websites you're working with to help you identify any technical SEO problems they may contain. Moz, however, lets you audit a lot more pages every month. On its low-tier, standard plan, for example, you can crawl 400,000 pages per month. The equivalent, essential SE Ranking plan's limit is 100,000. And, as you go up the pricing table, Moz remains the more generous option here, with its $239 large plan letting you crawl 5 million pages. The standard page crawl limit on SE Ranking's top tier plan is 700,000. 6. Moz gives you access to a generous free trial. SEO tools are more expensive than a lot of other business apps, so it's really important to try them out before committing to them. And Moz gives you a really generous free trial to help you do precisely that. It lasts 30 days, which is over twice as long as the SE Ranking trial. You'll find a link to Moz's 30-day trial in the video description, along with several other key Style Factory SEO resources. Okay, so those are the key reasons why you might want to use Moz over SE Ranking, but where does SE Ranking win? I'll come to that in just a moment, but before I do, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell. This will give you easy access to all our SEO content going forward. Now, let's look at the reasons to use SE Ranking over Moz. 1. SE Ranking's keyword database is much bigger than Moz's. Containing 5.3 billion keywords, SE Ranking's keyword database is over four times the size of Moz's, which contains 1.25 billion. 
This means that you should consistently get more keyword suggestions from SE Ranking than Moz, and our tests confirm that this is indeed the case. Additionally, Moz places strict limits on the number of keyword suggestions you can see. You can only ever access 1,000 keyword suggestions, regardless of the plan you're on. All this makes SE Ranking a winner in the keyword research department. 2. SE Ranking gives you traffic estimates. When you perform domain analysis with SE Ranking, you get traffic estimates for the domains you're inspecting. You can use this data as a benchmark for understanding how your site stacks up against a competitor's or to establish if it's worth approaching a particular website about a content collaboration or link building opportunity. SE Ranking also tells you how much a site's traffic would cost were it being generated by paid ad campaigns. Moz doesn't provide you with either of these pieces of information in its domain analysis tool, leaving you more in the dark about the performance and value of a website than you might like. 3. SE Ranking gives you content marketing tools. SEO platforms are increasingly giving their users content marketing tools, features that surface ideas for topics to write about, or even help you with the writing process in general. SE Ranking beats Moz here because it provides a dedicated content marketing tool that lets you get ideas for new pieces of content to create, analyze and improve existing content from an SEO perspective, use generative AI to create articles, and check your content for plagiarism. Unfortunately, there's nothing similar available from Moz on this front. 4. SE Ranking gives you advertising research data. In addition to giving you data on the performance of a website in organic search results, SE Ranking gives you a picture of how much paid traffic is being sent its way to. This is thanks to its comprehensive Paid Traffic Research section, which gives you data on paid for keywords, ads history, ad copies, and the landing pages being used in campaigns. There's nothing really comparable in Moz. 5. SE Ranking's reporting limits are more generous. The SE Ranking reporting limits are, in general, rather more generous than the Moz equivalents. Across all its plans, you can access more user accounts, more projects, more queries, more tracked keywords, and more historical data than from equivalent Moz subscriptions. And that's it, our Moz versus SE Ranking comparison. I hope you found it useful, but if you're looking for an even deeper dive, just Google Style Factory Moz versus SE Ranking. This will take you to the blog post version of this comparison, which highlights a lot more of the two platforms pros and cons. You'll find a link to this in the video description too, along with links to trials for both Moz and SE Ranking. To make sure you see more of our SEO content, please do like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. And finally, if you have any questions about Moz versus SE Ranking, please do leave them in the comments. We read them all and we'll do our best to help.